What's up, YouTube? My name is Anthony, and welcome back to a long-awaited return to Sega Bass Fishing Duel. I know it's been requested by a lot of you, and a lot of people have asked, where the hell have I been? Well, you'll have to watch the channel update video that should be going up around this time. Uh, same upload time, but that's for another story. At this point, we're back. We're better than ever. I got through a lot of technical difficulties to get us here. But we're here. Original hardware, PS2, sitting in front of me looking beautiful. And it's time to play. So, to my fellow fishermen and fisher ladies and fisher brethren, let's get into it. That was so dumb. <laughs> Alright, so, last we played, I got way in over my head on how long this last tournament was going to be, and I should have broken it up. So, top angler the series. Top Angler Series is five tournaments in all, over two days. So, I will be splitting this up. I'm not going to sit here and make a two-hour video just to play the whole tournament. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's hop in here. First stage. First stage. Lake Gator. Oh, you know what? I'm really, really excited for this. So, uh, when I was little, every time I like think of this game from my childhood, I have this picture in my head, and it's one of these five lakes, um, of almost like Louisiana, like a like a swampy, grassy map. We would play a lot with my dad. And there was, like, a lot of thick, like, grass and, like, brush. Or, you know, whatever, in the water. And, um... Enjoy I, I don't think it was this lake. But I just remember fishing that, and there was always fish, like... Monsters would always sit up in the... In the reeds! That's the word. Like, in the reeds and stuff. Um, I don't know where I'm going at all. Oh, well, if you don't know, just throw... Oh wow. Oh wow, yeah, this is like murky and steep drop off. Look at that. Alright. Yeah, this is weird, man. It's coming near. Try a little... Don't let it go. Hook it. Well, underhand action. It's coming near. Uh, not trying to Don't catch let it go. Either. It's gone. Alright, my favorite, the old, uh, the old spinnerbait. I don't know if it's the way to go through some of this. Oh, come on. I forgot, I forgot you could even get smagged in this game. I mean, it's a, it's a terrible thing when it happens in real life, but, uh, digress. So yeah, I am so excited to be back doing this. I hope you guys are excited to see some more, uh, not only like some more Sega Bass fishing, but, um, oh, can't go that way. Okay. Uh, just more PlayStation 2 and GameCube, like, classics in general, because, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll go over it in the update video that's coming out, but I... It's coming near. Don't oh, wow. let it go. I figured out how to use this. Um, it's a receiver box, I believe is the technical term for it. Uh, one of my one of my best friends gave it to me, and basically, uh, I can plug in multiple of my older uh, consoles, and then switch to switch between the inputs. Um, but I can holy. Sorry, I had to focus on some monster. That's super big. Yes. 13.5. I'll take it, man. I'm not seeing much of anything. I will take it. Uh, anyway, this thing. So this, this cool box. And let me switch between the inputs so I can essentially leave everything plugged in at once. And just tap between inputs instead of having to, okay, today we're doing PlayStation, tomorrow we're doing GameCube. You know, it'll just let me handle it all in a nice order. Um, let's go 
gonna say, I thought I saw a big one earlier. Like right in front of the boat. So yeah, that'll be, uh, it's great for like cable management too, because, you know, I don't have to stress about... It's coming near! Don't let it, it go! Yeah. It's gone! Sidearm, huh? I got it next time I'm out, like you know what's it's not coming near. Don't let it go. Degrees out. It's gone. I wanna see if I can try any of these crazy ones. The if the uh my favorite underhand cast technique I always do. I wonder if that's actually possible at all in real life. I, I know you can do sidearm, I've done that. Stay calm and uh, catch it carefully. There we go. That's another good one. Oh, he got a big one. And two. Wow. Every time I throw it out, I see like a, a shadow over here somewhere. So before we move areas, I want to do some more reconnaissance. Twenty-three off two fish is fantastic. That's a great start. All right, let's move. Let's roll. Throw up in there. there this is definitely not the uh, don't let it go childhood spot from the game I was thinking of because there's like no brush here. There we go. Another good one. I'm not even pulling this, this line's gonna break. This is why, like, this, I think this game does such a great job, even in 2001, of capturing. The hook came off. Oh. Well, that kind of goes into what I was gonna say. Uh, capturing what it's like to battle with one of these, like, with a large mouth bass, like, they're, they're just known as, like, so much fun of, like, uh, a sport fish, you know, to, to try and catch, because that's, they just fight like crazy, even when they're small. You know, it's, it's a lot of fun. I can attest to that personally. Out of here. I definitely won't be coming back to this spot for the rest of the days on this lake. It's coming Not here. Bad. Don't let it go. It's gone. If he comes after it, I'll I'll bring it in the boat. I need I need five. Can't all be giant. When I was doing some, it's coming some setup work trying Don't to let it go. figure out the uh, the old receiver box, I just went into like free play and just did a just a basic tournament, just you know for fun, to practice. Don't you know I caught five super big in one? I wasn't recording, of course, but I was like that would be my luck, you know. Alright. Move up a little bit. I think I saw a nice one to the it's left. It's coming here. near. Yep. Don't let it go. There's another good one in the distance over there too. Hook your fish. It's like back off to the right. Um Wow, I think that one was too small to count. I forgot they have a... There's a... A weight limit. Stay calm and that one was barely, it was like a pound, six ounces or something. It, it didn't count. Look, I only have two fish. It's a medium. That one counts. I should have known. I literally watched him... Uh, I watched him put it back in the water, and then I'm surprised when I lost this two fish. It's coming near. 
Don't let it go. Oh. It's gone. I think the other one I saw was like out of here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Oh wow. You guys see that? Come on now. Throw it. I'm very excited, so aside from just being thrilled to be doing this again, uh, I'm going to have a recurring a big one guest going by. forward. Be careful when you go for it. Join me for a, a guest series. Be careful when you go way. for it. I'm a, it's gonna be uh, two bros on the lake. Was the first idea. It's gonna be my buddy Kevin, my, one of my best friends. He loves this game, and uh, it's it's just an absolute blast to play together. And it's way too cold to actually go fishing. So please, stay on. I need this. Come on. I'm actually really excited to see what I'm doing this This one's got a gut on it. Come on! Catch it carefully. Yes! That's super big! A flat 15. Let's go. Oh, oh wow. It's coming but yeah, uh, Don't let it two go. rows on the lake it's coming was the here. idea. Don't let it go! Last one. It's gonna be just myself and you know Kevin or a couple of my other friends. And we're just it's gonna go into here. Don't let it go. Free play and just you know we're not gonna do any tournament stuff. Just have a blast, you know. See what we bring in on the, the end of the day, you know. Uh, it'll just be very fun. This it's coming is, here. Uh, Don't let it go. It's a good game to play split screen with somebody. A lot of fun. Stay calm and catch it carefully. Picking up the count? I don't think so. That's a small one. One pound, one ounce. Does it count? I don't think it does. Nope. I beat the timer, but he's too small. Last ten minutes. Nope. Uh, that's all she wrote. Time's up. Time's up. Damn. It's not good to not fill your limit, although I caught I think three bass that were too small to keep. Those two were big enough to keep. Look at that. I bet you with four fish, I'm still the day leader. Yep. Look at that. Eight megabytes. Ladies and gentlemen, we have eight megabytes of space on this memory card. Watch out. First stage. Right, day two. Day two. Let's go. Read area. You know, context clues make this look like uh, this might be the place I'm trying to find. Oh man. Tall glass of Sprite. A day out on the lake. What else could you ask for? Let's see if this is the place I'm trying to find. I mean, I, I could have just went to free mode and tested out the maps. I still don't think this is it. I remember it being uh, a little darker. What is that? It's coming near. Don't let it go. Like an airboat or something? You hear that? 
Hey, camera guy, you hear this? <laughs> Get a load of this. Stay calm and catch it carefully. Right, I think that's a keeper. That's a small one. Two pounds, two ounces. We'll keep it. I think that's the airboat over there. Ah. Oh. We got snagged up in that. All up in the muck. There's the big one I was trying to find. It's over yonder. Come on now. If I was smart, I would throw in their hand. It's coming anyway. near. Don't let it go. Hook your fish. I just want to get that big one and then I'll move it. Stay calm and catch it carefully. <laughs> this is not an easy spot to pick. That's a small one. One pound, ten ounces. No, it doesn't count unless it's at least a two pounder. Should have probably, you know, read the rules for the Top Angler Series tournament before uh, just hopping in. But I was just it's focused on how many here. days were in it. Don't let it go. Don't have another. Hook it. Fifty minutes. It's coming line. near. Don't let it go. See if we can get up in there. Yep. Saves a lot of time. Come on. Not good. They're up near the dock. Scraping that bottom. Oh, you see that? Right there, that's the one we're after. Two of them. Oh, man. It's coming near. Don't let it go. We're gonna both in this boat. I gotta hurry, I got two pounds in this boat, that's it. The other one was a couple ounces off of counting, so that was a waste of time. Bring him in. There we go. Oh, he got a big one. Nine pounds, ten ounces. Yeah, I'd say that one counts. Oh, there's a pike. It's coming near. Fish. Oh wow. That couldn't have been easier. Fell right into his mouth. Just inhaled it. That's real life. We had a very small baby. I don't know if it was a small mouth or a large mouth bass, but I know it was a bass. We had in a 50 gallon uh, fish tank. Um, my dad would feed it like worms and stuff and it was so neat to watch it would just wholly just inhale them and they don't actually like you know they don't have any teeth or anything so I don't know it was weird but also kind of fascinating to watch then when he got a little bigger um, we released him back into the little pond at his work but Cool watch for the time being. Huh? It's coming near. Don't let it go. Pike are cool, but not what I'm after. I'd like to catch one in real life. I never had. 
pike fishing. It's coming in. Kind of like a. Don't let it go. It's gone. Uh, they always remind me of like a like a freshwater barracuda. You know, really cool looking. When you do the long cast and you can see the shadow of the fish. Right up to the boat. There we go. It's a medium. Hey, you know what? It's fish in the boat. Already got four or five if you count that one that barely missed the cut. See, if these games had a better camera system for topwater lures, this would definitely be better than getting tangled up in this stuff, but such is uh, how they go, you know? It's coming near! Don't let it go! There's a pair of pike. I didn't think it's out gone! Scarce, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming near. Don't let it go. I have to. It's a bike. Oh. Hook it. The guy was not interested at all. Ooh. Almost got tangled. It's coming near. Don't let it go. Where's it going? It's Over gone. Here. Hook it. Come on now. It's coming near. Don't let it go. It's coming near. Don't let it go. Come on. Fit. There we go. Another good one. Better than the couple of three pounders I've got. So. I noticed if you can get at least like 37, 38 pounds, you're pretty much guaranteed victory over the NPC at least. So that practice run that I of course is not recording. Uh, I have a picture of it to prove it. I had five super big bass in the boat. 78 pounds. I'm not even kidding. I, I have a picture to Don't let it show go. the receipts. I'll prove it to you. It's gone. This is where we're staying. There's a big one off to the left. This one right here we gotta catch. It's coming near. Don't let it go. Way out over there. Yo. Last one hour. Gotta be quick though. Stay calm and catch it carefully. It's a medium. Brings the total up. It's coming near. There he is. Don't let it go. Come on. I don't have time for games. Come on. Fish. We are 
winding down that clock. I need you politely get to the boat. Last 30 minutes. Oh. 30 minutes is 30 seconds. No! Oh. Last 10 minutes. Oh, that's devastating. How could you? Time's up. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I have enough weight. Let's see. Yeah, best, uh, best day two weight was 31. And it looks like, same one, 32, 30, 31. I think gross total, I'm still in first. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a jig. My dad loves throwing these. It takes a lot of patience, which I admittedly don't have, so. I have a lot of patience with people. I'm told I have the patience of a saint. Things? None. I use it all up with people. All right. Second stage. Second okay. Stage. So this is yeah. Day one. This is where we are going to pause the tournament and stop here uh, because I don't want to make another hour-long episode out of this whole tournament. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is the first of many new things to come. Work has been extremely busy, but I'm making time, man. You gotta you got make time to do the things you love, so. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Peace.